Hi, I'm Richard Holcomb. Thanks for joining us this morning on Home Builders Gallery. I've been talking to a lot of builders and remodelers, and you know what they're all saying? Business is really starting to boom again. And a lot of these new homes are much more energy efficient than they were four or five years ago. Green build seems to be the word of the day, and we'll have a lot more information for you on that. Right now, we've got a great show lined up for you. Let's get started. Well, Mike, Twilight's been building homes in the greater Albuquerque area for over four years now, and you have a new division, Twilight Estate Homes. Tell us about it. Rich, we do, and Twilight Estates was established because we really felt that there was a part of the market that was really being missed. And that's getting that custom experience, kind of the in-between market between a full, fully custom home and, and the production homes that uh, we build uh, in our Twilight Estate series. Well, I can tell you this model is absolutely fantastic and I know that your partner Wade is going to tell us about some of the homes that you have and floor plans and all that stuff. So how about if we go up to the construction site and see Wade? Sounds like a plan. Well Wade, you're just about to finish up this house and I can tell you in looking around that you're going to have some mighty happy homeowners here in another week or so. Yeah, we're about a week out. We're down to the final details, paint touch up and clean and just making it shine for our customers. And this house actually is a version of the house we just left. It's a version of our model, the Hawthorne. And the house is 3,150 square feet. And the Hawthorne's 3,000 square feet. So we modified this house quite a bit and we customized it for this customer so that it met their needs and was specific for them. That's one of the great things about Twilight is that you can take a floor plan and you work with the folks to make it truly their home so it doesn't feel like it's a production model. That's right, we've got a number of floor plans to choose from to start with, but almost everybody wants to make it special for themselves. And of course, everybody has a price point they're trying to hit also, so we can work those designs up or down depending upon where they would like to be. Well, let's talk about price points for a minute too, because I think that's really important that you have, if I'm not mistaken, 17 homes that you've sold? We've sold 17 homes. Uh, we've got five that are either closed or just about to close, and they start in really about 2,000 square feet, and our biggest house is over in North Albuquerque Acres, and it's about 4,500 square feet. The prices range from the mid to low threes, and the sky's the limit from there. Well, Wade, I know our viewers are gonna be excited to get more information and see the great homes that you have here. How can they find you? Well, you're welcome to come out to our model. It's in Rio Rancho in the Vista Montebello subdivision. It's near the intersection of Unser and Black Arroyo, just west up Black Arroyo. Or you can go to the Twilight Homes NM uh, website, click on the link to Vista Montebello and learn more. Well, thanks, Wade. Wade, Mike, and I will be back with you again next week with more great information on Twilight Estate Homes. You need to see these homes. Coming up, we'll check out New Mexico's preeminent active adult community, Jubilee Los Lunas. Well, Jim, everybody knows that Mountain West Sales is the only place to go in New Mexico for fireplaces and stoves. And there's three different types, aren't there? That's right. There's wood, pellet, and gas. And each of these fuel sources has its advantages and disadvantages. So some are right for some and not right for others. And we know that you're the experts, and when people come in, our viewers come in, they always know that they can get help from you. That's right. Let's take a look at wood. The advantages to heating with wood are that it's very comfortable and it's a very unobtrusive heat. It kind of sneaks up on you and just makes you comfortable. Modern wood stoves are also very efficient, so they burn less wood to provide more heat. Wood can be a really inexpensive fuel source and it's sustainable. If you have easy access to it, it can even be free. EPA certified stoves, fireplaces and inserts are okay to burn on no burn nights, so you'll never be restricted as to when you can burn the stove. The other thing that wood stoves give you is energy independence. You don't have to rely on electricity or gas to heat your home, and you'll always have a heat source no matter what happens. Probably most importantly, or the thing that gets people's attention the most, is that when a wood stove is burning, it's dramatic, it's calming, and it's beautiful to look at. It will be the focal point of the room that it's in. Jim, I've always loved a wood fireplace, but boy, that means you've got to chop wood, buy wood, haul wood, clean up afterwards, get rid of the ash. There, there has to be a good alternative, right? That's true. Some people love that, but if it's not for you, maybe pellets would be something to consider. Pellet stoves are great because they can operate on a thermostat. 
Most of them have electronic ignition so they can come on and off as they need to to maintain the room at a constant temperature. They're safe to use at all hours of the day so you can run them when you're away at work uh, so that your house is nice and warm when you get home. With regular cleaning and maintenance, they'll provide steady, even heat for many years. They're very reliable. Pellets can be purchased in bulk or by the bag, so fuel is never really an issue. Um, they're easy to store, and as long as you keep them dry, they'll last for a long time. Pellet stoves are highly efficient, probably even more efficient than the most efficient EPA-rated wood stoves. Uh, because pellet stoves can be vented either horizontally or vertically, there aren't many places in your house where you couldn't put one, so you have lots of options for placement. Jim, pellet stoves are really cool. They run on a thermostat. They can be very efficient when it comes to heat sourcing. But that means that you have to buy the pellets and you have to clean up after them too, right? That's true. And there's also maintenance involved with pellet stoves. So if that's not for you, then maybe gas would be something to think about. All things considered, gas stoves are actually probably the most convenient fuel source. They're thermostat controlled. Again, like pellet stoves, they ignite automatically. So you can run them day and night, even when you're not there. They give you a steady, even heat. Uh, there's no fuel to store, there's no maintenance, and no ashes to clean up. There's a very low cost of ownership, and actually they're very economical to run as long as you're on natural gas. Many people think that natural gas is wildly expensive, but if you take a close look at it, that's really not true. They actually have the highest efficiency of all the fuel types we've discussed today. Jim, thanks for all the great information today. Well, you're welcome. That's what we're here for, is to be a source of information for you. If you're not sure what the right heat source would be for your house, come down and talk to us at 2718 University Boulevard or on the web at mountainwestsales.net. And remember, mountainwestsales.net. Jim will be back with us again next week with more great information from Mountain West Sales. Well, if you think you can't afford solar, then you need to think again. And today, I'm going to show you why. I'm with Rebecca Langdon of Affordable Solar. We're on the roof of a house that you've just put solar in here in Corrales. And solar really has come of age, hasn't it, Rebecca? It has. It's uh, becoming very popular with our homeowners. Uh, people are saving money on a daily basis. It's, it's wonderful. People love it. Well, let's talk a little bit about the savings that people have from solar today. Absolutely. Tell us about that. Well, when purchasing a system, uh, a customer can receive a 30% tax credit from the federal government, 10% from the state, so a $10,000 system would get $3,000 credit from the IRS and a $1,000 credit from the state. Well, Rebecca, if I were building a new home today, I'd really want to include solar in my package, wouldn't Absolutely. I? Uh, building a home without solar and wrapping that into, the, into your mortgage, that would be a huge mistake. And I would assume, too, that I could take my 30% tax credit from the federal government and my 10% from the state and get that in my very first year of home ownership. Yes, you right? can. Well, tell us a little bit about affordable solar. You've been in business for 15 years? Absolutely. Yeah, we've been here since 1998. We have a, a wonderful group of people. We're a growing company, and we're all incredibly dedicated to renewable energy and bringing uh, cost-effective, clean energy to all New Mexicans. Well, if people want to learn about solar, there's really one place to go, and that's affordable solar. That's so how can our viewers get more information? You can give us a call at 944-4220. You can visit our website at thinkaffordablesolar.com. And Rebecca and I will be back again next week to tell you a little bit more about solar from Affordable Solar. When it comes to window blinds, shades, and shutters, one brand stands out above the rest, Hunter Douglas. Beautiful window treatments with amazing features, guaranteed for life. And there's no better place to find your Hunter Douglas blinds and shutters than right here at All About Blinds and Shutters, Albuquerque's Hunter Douglas Gallery. Are you looking for blinds, shades, or shutters? You've come to the right place. Here at All About Blinds and Shutters, our displays make it easy for you to see all the popular Hunter Douglas products and features, and we're here to help. You'll love all the choices you have, light control, energy efficiency, innovation, so many types of blinds, shades, and shutters, all with a lifetime guarantee. Horizontal blinds, vertical blinds, honeycomb shades, Roman shades, pleated shades, shutters, bottom up, top down, the choices go on and on. There isn't a window we can't dress, no matter what shape or size. Our designers will come to your home and work together with you to make sure you make the right choices on colors, products, and features to help you make choices you'll love for a lifetime. It was really great. They helped me so much. I think they're 
just, they're so different. And I fell in love with these the first thing. So if you're looking for blinds, shades, shutters, or custom draperies, come on in and see us at All About Blinds and Shutters. We're easy to find on Montgomery, just east of Louisiana. We look forward to learning your needs and helping you find the right solutions. Plus, because All About Blinds and Shutters is a Hunter Douglas gallery, you'll receive the Hunter Douglas Right Choice Promise, which guarantees your satisfaction. And there's really no reason to look anyplace else for window coverings than right here at All About Blinds and Shutters. We're your Hunter Douglas Gallery and the only name you need to know for blinds, shades, shutters, and custom draperies. See us today! Karen, what's so unique about Jubilee Los Lunas? Well, Jubilee is an active adult community. Some of our homeowners are retired, others still work full time, but they all have one thing in common, an active lifestyle. And that means nobody gets bored, right? That's absolutely right, Richard. And the villa here is really the hub of activity, isn't it? It's true. Every day is filled with choices, cards, mahjong, pool, a good workout, social activities, and time to relax. There's plenty going on outdoors too, Hiking, biking, bocce ball, backyard barbecues, and our homeowners are now swimming in our brand new pool. And there's always something to do nearby. Golf, casinos, shopping, museums, and more. We're just 20 minutes from the airport and downtown Albuquerque. Okay, Karen, so the lifestyle's absolutely incredible. Tell our viewers about the homes. Well, our homes are all about choices. Those choices begin with eight fabulous single-story floor plans, ranging from 1,400 to nearly 2,900 square feet. Plus, you can choose to make changes to your floor plan. Want to move a wall? Convert a garage to a workroom? You can do it! Our standard features include four granite choices for your kitchen, a covered patio, tile in all wet areas, a built-in microwave, finished garage, and so much more. So Karen, what's the best way to learn more? Well, come see it for yourselves, to our models and our villa, and talk with some of our homeowners. We're open seven days a week, and we're so easy to find, on Highway 6, just a mile west of I-25 in Los Lunas. For hours and driving directions, visit our website, jubileelosluna.com. So come see us today. Please do, and remember that Karen and I will be back again next week with more great information from Jubilee Los Lunas. Stay with us. We'll take a look at D.R. Horton, America's Builder. For a long time, I've wanted natural light in my garage, and then I met Don and Brooke Nutting of the Natural Lighting Company, and they told me how I can put a solar tube light in my garage for less than $600, and they're going to do that today. Well, Don, I'm really excited about having this done up here. Tell me what you're going to do. Well, we're happy to be here. Uh, the process, we've already done some layout on the inside. Up here you can see some of the materials that will uh, comprise the rooftop side mm -hmm. of the project. We're getting ready to make our cut on the rooftop side and seal in the flashing and get you some daylight down below. And Tim's downstairs and he's cutting a hole up Tim's, to meet you up here, exactly. right? Exactly. Tim's downstairs cutting his hole in the sheetrock. Uh, from there he'll give me a center point through the roof where I can make the rooftop cut and get started up here. Uh, we've just been here a few minutes. Thankfully the whole process is very quick. And when you say very quick, we're talking around two hours, around right? Around two hours. Not a, not a major disruption to your life. A very, very fast cleanup. Uh, so it shouldn't be a, a big issue for you as the homeowner. And I was impressed with what Tim was doing downstairs, too. He put a lot of plastic down. He's covering around the hole. So Perfect. I don't have to worry about coming home tonight and cleaning up a mess in the That's garage, right? right? We, we happen to be working in your garage, but a lot of times we're working in the living space, in master closets, so we go out of our way to make the job very clean and very neat so it doesn't become a burden on you as the homeowner. Well, I don't want to hold you up. Let's get going. Great. Sounds good. So down below, Tim has cut his hole, and now he's going to run a drill bit up to give me a center point here at the rooftop. There we side. go. You can see the drill bit up through there. Tim, that's great. You can back that out, and I'll mark it with a screw. So he's done with his cutting on the bottom floor, and I'll start cutting from, from up here. And I'll trace out two marks. I'll trace out the diameter of our hole, and then I'll trace out the exterior 
perimeter. Tim, getting ready to uh, make my cut here up on top. Just wanted to make sure you're clear there. Hey, go ahead. I got a car for you. Real good. One of the keys to working on uh, a modified bitumen roof is getting the surface cleaned a little bit with a nice wire brush. So the purpose behind cleaning off the loose granules is just so that you get a nice clean surface uh, for, the, uh, for the sealant to adhere to in, in more modern construction like this where we've got space between the trusses. We'll have to extend our tubing a little bit so we're going to take a look. We're gonna check our fit for straight. And then Tim is also going to take a measurement and assemble his tube from the bottom edge. So now we're putting a nice layer of the roof sealant down to bed in the whole area underneath the flashing. And as we, as we screw the, fashion, the flashing down and, and fasten it to the roof, uh, you'll see where the additional sealant squeezes out the underside of the flashing. And, and we'll be able to tell that we're getting a good uh, coverage. Through the top that up a little bit. We'll do the final fit here. Looking real good. Now we'll put the screws down through it. And Tim will be attaching his from the underside. And then at this point here we'll we'll attach the dome and then finish up the rooftop side. Now we're just dressing it up with some more white roofing granules over the top. Give that neoprene a little more uh, UV protection. Well, here's the before and here's the after and we're shooting this in natural light. It lights up the whole garage. Don, thanks a lot. Thank you. Tim, thank you so much. If you want to light up your house the way that we're lighting up ours, the Natural Lighting Company is the way to go. Give these folks a call today. I know you're enjoying the show today, and you'd probably like to get more information on Home Builders Gallery Television. Well, you can watch it on demand 24-7 at our website, homebuildersgallery.com. Check us out there, too. Brian, I have to tell you, I really love the trails here on Albuquerque's west side. It's a great community, it's booming, and a lot of that is because of everything that there is to do in the community, right? So tell us a little bit about the community. It sure is. It's actually one of Albuquerque's fastest growing master plan communities. And a lot has to be said about being in the desirable Volcano Vista School District. Tons of parks and open space. It's a really great family community. I know when we pulled in today, we saw a lot of kids who were getting out of school and walking home, which was really nice to see. And today we're in the Rose, which is a brand new model for DR Horton. We're really excited to introduce the Rose. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath, two story with the owner suite downstairs and over 2,600 square feet. One of the great things about the Rose floor plan is if you're cooking in the kitchen, you're always a part of the conversation in the family room. And I hear that from families all the time, that the cook is always seems to be out of the conversation, so that's not the case here in the Rose. But what is the case is you've got great sunlight in here from these clear story windows. Absolutely great touch in this house, Brian. And if that's not enough, the owner suite's actually located on the main floor of this home. Let's go take a look. You know, Richard, one thing we've really focused on is creating floor plan designs where the owner suite's located downstairs. And as you can tell, we've brought the bay window back. It's really nice and it expands the room, brings a lot more light and it's great. And your signature bathroom's here too. Again, we've introduced owner suites where off of the owner's bath is a walk-through laundry room. Really makes a difference in this house. Brian, not only is it great to be able to look down on the main floor from the second level, but the windows that you have up here too 
are fantastic. Brings more light in and you can see forever from up here. And this upstairs is fantastic. Not only do we have a spacious loft, but we actually have three secondary bedrooms, one of which has a full bath. It's almost like having a second owner suite. It's perfect for a growing family or maybe when folks are visiting from out of town. And I know next door you have another great model that we want to show our viewers today, the Sandoval. So how about giving us a quick tour of that? Sure, the Sandoval is a spacious single story home. At over 1,700 square feet, it has four bedrooms, two baths, and the owner suite is located privately in the back of the home. The kitchen is conveniently located near the living room, and the nook leads right outside to the covered patio. Brian, these are two more phenomenal floor plans here at Tierra Vista at the trails on the west side of Albuquerque, the Sandoval and the Rose, and you're just about sold out on phase one, aren't you? We are. It's been a tremendously popular community for us. Luckily, we have a new phase coming soon. We'd like to invite people out to come and take a look. For driving directions and more information, please visit drhorton.com forward slash nm or give us a call at 792-4088. Thanks, Brian. And Brian will be back with us again next week with more great home tours from DR Horton, America's Builder. Stay tuned. We're going to check out another wonderful twilight home. What every child deserves. To be safe in our home. Food and clothes. Not to be hurt. A good education. To grow up with our brothers and sisters. To be loved, valued, and respected. El Ranchito is a loving and stable children's home where brothers and sisters can live together as they grow into adulthood or until they can be reunited with their families. With your help, El Ranchito de los Niños will continue its mission for years to come. Learn how you can help. Call us today. Need office space? 3791 Southern Boulevard in Rio Rancho represents an outstanding value in office space in the heart of Rio Rancho's business district. With clean and versatile space available, 3791 Southern Boulevard is a two-story office building and offers good visibility with signage opportunities for tenants. There's only one suite of up to 2,700 square feet still available, so act now. For more information, call David at 505-259-3706. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial State Park in Angel Fire was the first in the nation to commemorate our Vietnam veterans. This very special place was built by Dr. Victor and Jean Westfall in memory of their son who was killed during the conflict. The David Westfall Veterans Foundation has been established to honor all of Americans' veterans and members of its military forces. Please consider making a donation to this place of reunion, reflection, healing, and a place for sharing experiences. AngelFireMemorial.com. Donate today. Paul, fencing has certainly progressed from the days of the white picket fence and chain link fence to where we are today, and valley fence has progressed right along with it. What are some of the new trends in fencing? Some of the new trends, Richard, are our Design Master product. Uh, we do a lot for the dog parks here in town. It's a big residential seller now, and so that's come a long way. Of course, we have our ornamental uh, fencing and specialty work there also. Gate operators are such a big item this day in for our safety and, and the different things that we do for our elderly. We try to do some of that. And so we're just uh, moving right along with the time. And Paul, you still do an awful lot of the traditional Southwest fencing too, don't you? We do, Richard. We do coyote fence. It's a big, big seller here in New Mexico. Uh, the people here just love that, that are born and raised here, and also the people that come in love that. I absolutely love it, love it. I think it, it gives the uh, entire property in the house a totally different character that uh, maybe other style of fences don't, wouldn't necessarily provide. Also, we have our cedar fencing, and also we do a lot of adobe wall as well. Our family has been in the fencing business here in New Mexico since 1969, so maintaining our culture and southwestern style is our specialty. For security, privacy, and beauty, Valley Fence Company is your one-stop place for all your fencing needs. Paul, how can our viewers get more information on Valley Fence? Richard, thank you for that. The way you can get a hold of us is valleyfencecompany.com or call and we'll make an appointment to come out and look at your project, discuss your options, and give you a guaranteed quote. Thanks a lot, Paul. For over three generations of serving New Mexico, this is Valley Fence Company. Whether you're a lover of art, Native American culture, or you're just on a spiritual journey, Taos, Mexico and the Charles Collins Galleries are must-sees. 
Charles, your work has been described as images that touch the soul. Tell me about that. Well, being in Taos since 1976, I moved here because of the wonderful culture that exists here and the spiritual nature of the whole area. It seems to exude that it's something very different and very special. My passion, my need is to help people across their connection to the divine. Through my painting, sculpture, and ceramics, and the bronzes, I try to convey that we are all part of a continuous channel of life flowing everywhere. Charles, your work is truly a gift. Thank you, Richard. It, it is a gift, and to be recognized for it is a really, truly, and wonderful thing. To learn more about this wonderful artist, Charles Collins, visit him in Taos at the Charles Collins Gallery or online at charlescollinsgallery.com. Mike, it's great to be out here at Mariposa with you, and I think the 13 years that we've been doing Home Builders Gallery, we've never filmed a community center that has the amenities that this one has. This really is the crown jewel of any community center in, in New Mexico, and Twilight Homes was very excited to be part of putting all this back together and giving homeowners out here access to what really is an amazing place. You've got an outdoor pool behind us, a great indoor pool, a workout facility, a play area for kids, all of this is included in your monthly HOA dues. It certainly right? is, and on top of that, we've got walking trails and over 3,000 acres of dedicated open space for residents to, to explore and, and just be a part of. When you want to take in the beauty of New Mexico, there's not a better community than Mariposa to do that. And as Mike said, 3,000 acres of open space. You can have a ball out here seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Absolutely, and the home sites that we offer have just spectacular views and I'd love to go and show you some of those because you can see really the world. Let's go take a look. Mike, you were spot on when you talked about the views out here at Mariposa and the home sites that Twilight has. Richard, we really are. We're standing on top of the world and up here we can see over five different mountain ranges. That's absolutely incredible and I know that our viewers are going to be interested in hearing about pricing out here too. Absolutely. We offer 10 different floor plans starting in the 140s and so we really we do offer something for everyone. And a lot of the amenities that you have in your Twilight homes are options in other homes too, aren't they? Richard, we build to the Bill Green New Mexico silver level, and you're exactly right. Granite countertops are standard, uh, along with a lot of other features. I know our viewers are going to want to get more information on how they can find out more about Twilight homes. What should they do? Just come to our website at twilighthomesnm.com for model home hours and directions to this amazing community. Thanks, Mike. And Mike will be back with us again next week with more great information from Twilight Homes. That's all the time we have this week on Home Builders Gallery. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And remember, check us out on the web at homebuildersgallery.com for a lot more information on the builders, suppliers, remodelers, and developers that you saw on this week's show. When you're out and about and you see our men and women in uniform, be sure and thank them for their service. And we'll see you again next Sunday morning at 9.30 right here on Two Casa Fox for Home Builders Gallery. Well, Richard, this is here is the Iris model, which is... This here? This is. here. This here. <laughs> this here! <laughs> which is part of our Twilight series here down in Rancho Valencia. We'll just go ahead and go back. And with every great living area, we start with the great... <laughs> you got it! <laughs>